Greetings my beautiful lovelies, it's Emmy and welcome back. Today I'm going to be making a pork cake. Pork, as in a meat cake. And it was inspired by this book, the Mennonite Community Cookbook, and it was sent to me by lovely Sarah. Sarah, thank you so much. There are so many great looking recipes in this book. The last time I used this book was when I made the funny cake pie. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put the link down below. It's a pie that's a cake and it magically separates while you're baking it in the oven and it's delicious so you should make it at any rate here is the pork cake and it goes on to the other page here so this recipe comes from mrs mark c showalter from broadway virginia and elizabeth showalter in waynesboro virginia so this recipe was intriguing for a couple reasons number one it's a sweet cake that contains meat number two it also contains gumdrops gumdrops I've never made a cake that contains gumdrops, let alone pork. <laughs> so this recipe contains a ton of spices. It has clove, cinnamon, and nutmeg, which made me come to the conclusion that this is a variation of mincemeat, as in mincemeat pies. So the tradition of eating mincemeat pies goes back hundreds of years in Britain, and it actually is a way to preserve meat. You take meat, you bake it into a cake, you put some spices, oftentimes you add some alcohol, and it's a way to preserve the protein for an extended amount of time. Brilliant, right? Absolutely brilliant. So mincemeat pies are traditionally eaten during Christmas time, and it contains three spices, cinnamon, clove, and nutmeg, which represent the three magi. So great. So, so great. Thank you, Sarah, for sending me this book and for allowing me to learn about mincemeat pies and pork cake. Alrighty, so let me walk you through the steps of how to make yourself a pork cake. So I'm gonna be reading you the original recipe amounts and it makes two pork cakes. And what you see in the video is for one. In a large bowl, place one pound of ground pork and then pour over two cups of boiling water. Set this aside until it's almost completely cooled. To one cup of molasses, add one and a quarter teaspoons of baking soda. Then add this to your pork and water mixture. Next, you're gonna sift in five and a half cups of all-purpose flour, a half teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of cloves, one tablespoon of nutmeg, and two tablespoons of cinnamon. Sift all the dry ingredients into the wet and then stir to combine. Next, we're gonna add one cup of raisins. So the recipe calls for a quarter pound of citron, which is a beautiful citrus, and it's mostly rind and pith, and it's often candied, but it's so aromatic. It's in the citrus family, so it smells a bit like a lemon. And I've actually made candy citron before. I'll put a link to that video down below. So I wasn't able to find any candied citron, so I substituted candied pineapple along with the zest of one lemon. And one cup of chopped nuts. Then finally, we're gonna add one cup of gumdrops. Now stir everything to combine. Pour this into a greased loaf pan and then place it into a preheated 275 degree oven and bake for two and a half to three hours or until a toothpick comes out clean. There's something about the name. When you say pork cake, it makes it seem so unusual, but when you say mincemeat, you're like, okay. Oh, incidentally, these days, most mincemeat pies contain no meat whatsoever, just a combination of candied fruit and spices. Okay, enough jibber dropping. let's go ahead and taste our pork cake. I just bought this cutting board a couple weeks ago and already it has a crack in it. I've used this maybe three times and it has a crack in it already. Curses. At any rate, let's go ahead and cut into our pork cake. So here it is. I took it out of the loaf pan after it was cool and then I wrapped it in some wax paper and just placed it back in the pan. Look how stinking cute that is. There it is. And it looks a lot like a fruit cake. It smelled beautiful in here while this was baking. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, look at that. Alrighty, my lovelies, let's finally give the pork cake a taste. I'm gonna grab this slice right here because it has a gumdrop in it. I'm curious to see if I can taste the pork at all. It looks very much like a fruit cake. The molasses gives it this really dark brown color. Lots of raisins and nuts. Okay, let's give it a taste. Here we go. Itadakimasu.
Mm, a very heavily spiced spice cake. Tons of juicy raisins in there. I'm not a huge fan of raisins, but contextually this works. Raisins to me always seem to be paired with cinnamon. They make a great combination. This is a very rich cake. Mm -hmm. When I say rich, I don't mean rich in buttery, but rich meaning chock full. It's got tons of dried fruit in there, lots of raisins. I can taste the nuts in there. I can feel the nuts in there. In proportion to the breaded part, there's a lot of kind of fillings in there. So very dense. I really want to get a bite with a gumdrop in it. Here we go. <laughs> because the cake is so heavily spiced, I hardly taste the gumdrop at all. I do feel it texturally. It's a little bit gummy, gumdroppy, but it totally works. Mm -hmm. But do I taste pork? No, not at all. I don't feel it. I don't taste it. All I taste is lots of spices. I taste raisins. I taste nuts, but I don't taste pork whatsoever. Alrighty, my beautiful lovelies, there you have it. There is the pork cake. It tastes exactly like a spice cake. You would never know that there's any pork in there whatsoever. It reminds me of the holidays. It tastes like Christmas and it will make your kitchen smell marvelous. Alrighty. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Big thanks again to Sarah for sending me the beautiful Mennonite cookbook. Let me know down in the comments or follow me on social media to let me know what other recipes you'd like to see me test out or try or find. I'm always reading your comments. I love hearing from you. So yes, find me there. Oh, if you'd like to get yourself an Eat the Ducky Moss shirt, I'll put a link down below. And yeah, be sure to share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye. I always think I'm gonna like these and then I eat them and I'm like, Mm, not so much.